Greetings. Uh, this is part three of an HEI install for a 1981 Ford F-150 with the six-cylinder 300 cubic inch engine. Uh, in my part two video, it looks like I was struggling to get the distributor in, and I was, but it was the new O-ring was very uh, thicker than the old O-ring, so I just gently tapped on the base of the distributor with a rubber hammer, and it went right in there. I don't recommend you do that. I recommend you struggle with it for a while like I did, and it'll drop in. Um, it did drop in, and the rotor spun counterclockwise a little bit, and it dropped right into the number one position. Now, what I've noticed is uh, I was going to regap all the spark plugs, but they're kind of crappy. So I'm going to put new spark plugs in. I'm going to put some of these in. They're APP45. They're double platinum. Um, they get gapped at 0.050 to 0.055. That's not a big deal. Uh, but what I have noticed is that the threads for the cylinder head are kind of... The spark plug goes in kind of tight, and there's some gunk in there from years of years of work. And uh, what we're going to do is we're going to run this... We're going to run this little tapper in there. There's some grease on it right now. But it's double-sided. Obviously, you wouldn't use the small side because it's the bigger size plug. It's a little cleaning tap. I got some grease on it. And we're going to run that in and try it on this back one and see how it works. And put the gapped plug in. And if it works good, then we'll probably just keep going. So, let's get you down there. The uh, lighting isn't ideal today, but we'll see what we can do. Uh, let's see. I think you can see that last hole back there. Yeah. And we're going to run this tap in there. We're going to start it, hand start it first. Don't worry, I'm still here. <laughs> okay. So it's this back hole here. All of these holes are pretty gummy. And uh, the spark plug doesn't really want to do, it, it goes in, but it just, from experience, I know that it's not great. The threads are not, they're not feeling how they should be feeling. Like even starting this is kind of difficult. There must be some crud in there. Okay, well, this on here. Maybe we can start this. I think I need the smaller extension. I'm not sure. Yeah, it doesn't even want to start. Must be some crud in there. Hang on just a sec. I gotta wipe this off a little. Okay, sorry about that. We're figuring it out, folks. Oh, there we go. Look at that. Going right in there. So we got grease on the tap, and it's going to collect all that. Because obviously, you don't want to have that grease go down in there in the cylinder. I mean, the, you don't want the chips and, and carbon and built up crud falling down in the cylinder. Now I'm going to work it back and forth. 
because I want it to stick on that grease and that's what you do with taps you work them back and forth and then we'll take it out and we'll look at it and just see how much came out exactly easy sitting up on the radiator support doing this but I gotta do it I gotta clean these out a little bit they were feeling a little funky okay so we'll take this out and we'll, we'll take a look at it and see what crud came out of here Lighting is not ideal today. Okay, so I had some never sees in there. It looked like it took all that out pretty good. I don't see any metal chips or anything. It did get down to the end and kind of cut into some carbon. I'm hoping that that cleaned it out well. We'll see when we put this next plug in. Uh, let's see, just for giggles, we'll. Uh, I don't think there's any chips. I think it's just some never sees on there from the plugs. Huh. Well, we'll see how the next plug feels in there. I don't see any metal chips on here. That's good. Nothing's cross threaded or anything. All right. So we've gapped this plug, we've gapped this to 0 0.050, actually 0 0.051, uh, this is a 0 0.025 and a 0 0.026 together, <laughs> and that makes 0 0.051. The range for this says 0.050 to 0.055, so I'm going on the smaller side. That's good and tight. All right, we'll put some never sees on here. And we'll put it in. Careful not to get the never sees on the electrode. Just put it on the threads. You don't need a bunch on there, just a little. Okay. Let's see, where's that bottom hole? Can we see that? Yeah, okay. All right, so now, let's try this. We'll see how this feels. Um, like I say, the threads were feeling a bit funky. Always start spark plugs by hand if you can. Yeah, the threads were feeling a little funky before. And now they're just spinning right in. So that, that spark plug threader cleaner is a chaser actually. It chases the threads. That actually works pretty good and the threads feel better now. And uh, we might even look in the book and see what these are torqued to, but that would be a bit anal. We might though. I think they get torqued to 35 pounds or something.
that's tight. Okay, I think we're just gonna torque them tight and put this wire back on, and we'll do the next one. I'll just do a couple, and then we'll the next video I'll time it because this was being kind of redundant. But uh, let's do another one because that one was kind of easy, and maybe that one wasn't so gummy. Big on the never sees there. <laughs> I like that stuff. It's great. As long as you don't get it on the actual electrode, you're okay. Now see that hole is looking kind of gooey too. Let's see if we can get you in there. Yeah, there's some crud in there. You can't really. Not the greatest lighting here today. Uh, we're gonna run the tap in there too and see if we get some stuff out. That one seemed pretty good, so uh, let's do this other one. Oh, uh, yeah, you can see pretty good. Alright. Okay, we got some grease on that. It's gonna catch all the stuff, hopefully. We don't want that stuff going down in the engine. Um, it's just basically a tap, a chasing tap. And we're gonna put it in here and hopefully it'll start nicely. The other one didn't want to start very well. And this one. It's trying to get there. Yeah, this one, uh, oh yeah, it's working. It's working back and forth. It's just kind of cleaning the threads right now. I was just kind of worried they were, the plugs were going in kind of wonky and tight. And uh, plugs should just spin right in, really. You should be able to spin a plug in, you know, a couple turns anyway, just with your hand. And if you put a piece of vacuum tube on the end of the nipple, you should be able to get the plug almost all the way in. If the threads are in good shape, uh, and these threads are not in good shape. So I'm just working it back and forth and we'll take it out and inspect it. It's getting close. Bottomed out, that's good. Look at that coming right out of there. Okay. Ah, uh, yeah. Yeah. This one looks a little dirtier. There's definitely some crud that came out of there. That's good. Let's clean it off and check for bits of metal. Uh, 
I don't see any metal, that's good. Yeah, just dirt and carbon and the grease I used to catch it. Oh, there's a little bit of crud. Look at that. Yeah, a little bit. Okay, so what we've done is we've kind of reconditioned these threads. There's the old plug. Uh, you can see there was some stuff kind of getting by the seal there too. Uh, I mean that beveled edge looks pretty good. But stuff was getting past there. Probably because the threads were gummed up and I couldn't really torque them down like they should be. Um, and this one looks a little bit out of gap too. Yeah, that's a loose, that's more like 055. Okay, we're going to put a new one in. Right now. Okay, gap this. This is an AP45. Uh, it's a double platinum plug and with my new HEI system this should work pretty good this is not really a spark plug tool by the way you're supposed to have a little something that grips the tip a little better but it'll work so that's .051 now okay we're gonna put a little never seize on there and put it in Especially with those nice clean threads. Okay, let's get back in here. This is the last one I'm going to do. I mean, I'm going to do them all, but this is the last one I'm going to show you. And then on the next video, we will time the engine. We'll start it and we'll time it. Yeah. You don't need to see all this. I mean, you can see one. You get the idea once I do a couple. Uh, just remember to move the tap back and forth a few times. You know, treat it like a tap. You can't just run it in and run it in like a spark plug. You have to treat the cleaning chasing tool like a tap. So, you know, tap it back and forth. If you just run it in there, you run the risk of messing the threads up even more or having stuff fall off and fall in there and the whole idea of having grease on the tap is to catch anything that would fall in there now we got lucky and I didn't see any metal chips on the end of that tapper uh, chaser chasing tool but I have worked on engines where you put that in and when you pull that sucker out of there it's filled with metal bits usually when somebody cross threads a plug you have a chance of saving it you know okay where are we at where's the wire oh there it is okay okay so I'm gonna do the rest of them but you guys get the idea okay so that's how you tap chase spark plug holes with the larger diameter plugs um, it's good to clean this off with some WD dry it out really good and then put some grease on it each time and um, it catches all the stuff and brings it out. Now those plugs, those threaded holes were feeling a bit funky. And now those two I just did in the back there, they threaded right in. And I should be able to torque those down to specs if I want to. 
um, but everything's looking okay. The only problem is when we get to this one underneath the AC compressor, it's in there. Uh, that one's going to be a little bit on the dicey side to reach in there and do, but I'm going to have to do it because they're all gummy and they've all been leaking, you can see on these plugs. Um, you can see on these plugs, there's been some gas leaking past that or something, oil maybe. Uh, there was bad gas ran in this at one time before I got the truck. Uh, but we fixed all that problem. There were some bent pushrod tubes and stuff. Um, so that could have been from that. Okay, well, signing off for now. And uh, in the next video, we're going to time it and maybe take a test ride. Okay, Faulkner fixes all. Have a good day.